It's January in the Scottish Highlands. Where an old barn has become a hunting ground for a female pine marten. She's hot on the trail of a vole. her way to safety. But the Pine Martin may get another opportunity. More voles are gathering outside. They're also looking for winter shelter. But they're wary of what lies inside. And keep scurrying back to the rocks. Finally, a vole ventures in. only to find a hungry pine marten waiting. The pine marten has found herself the perfect winter refuge. animal will be safe here while she's in residence. Sandwiched between Scotland and Norway and just 400 miles south of the Arctic Circle are a group of 100 islands known as Shetland. At night, when particles in Earth's magnetic field collide, the sky puts on a show. During the winter solstice, the northern lights shone for 18 hours. But as the season draws on, daylight drowns them out. When the ice sheets retreated 11,000 years ago, pine forests slowly took hold in the Cairngorm Mountains. With thick bark and flexible branches, these trees can easily shrug off the worst of the weather. The Cairngorms hold the record for the lowest temperatures and the highest amount of snowfall in the UK. Although this year has been mild, temperatures are dropping fast. A 
and more of the Pine Forest's rare residents are bracing themselves. Red squirrels have been wiped out in most of the UK. This Caledonian forest is one of their last remaining strongholds. The squirrels don't hibernate in winter. Instead, they depend on the food that they hid in the autumn. But this doesn't last forever. Their secret stashes can be pilfered by other squirrels. The longer the winter drags on, the more likely they are to run out. Every time the temperature drops, by even just a degree. The squirrels have to find even more food just to keep them warm. Bushy tails act like umbrellas when the sleet starts. But this is turning into something more. Just when animals in Scotland are starting to look forward to spring, winter makes a late appearance. And if this weather's locked in, it could have dire consequences. From the craggy isles of the far north to the icy forests of the south, Wild inhabitants are pushed to the limits of their endurance. But eons of adaptation have taught them to fight. To not just survive, but to thrive in Scotland's last great wild fortresses.